Hi, in this video, we will see how to write multiple expression in lambda body. Okay, we will see one example for this. In this main class, inside the main method, we will write a lambda expression for the interface I calculator. So, I calculator, it is a functional interface because it has one and only one abstract method. So, it has a method calculate. This method takes two parameters, both are integer and it returns a integer value. Okay. So, this method is a abstract method and since it has only one abstract method, this interface is a functional interface. Okay. So, let us go to the main class and we create a we write a lambda expression for this functional interface. So, we will declare a variable of type I calculator then which equal to now we have to write the lambda expression part. So, first thing is the left part of the uh, left hand side of the lambda operator that is the parameter list. So, we can also declare this way this is also allowed in lambda expression that is we do not have to mention the data type of these parameters right. Now, the lambda operator ok. So, now we have to we have to use the open curly brace and close curly brace to write the, the block of code it is called a block lambda. And we need to use the semicolon after the closing curly brace. Okay. So now what we have to do is we have to write the code inside inside this block. So let us write this way int result equal to zero. Then we uh, write like result equal to I multiplied I multiplication with the k. Right. Now we can use the return statement. In the block lambda, that is when you write a block of code in the lambda expression, the return statement is a must. Okay. So let us return the result. Okay. So this is how we can write the block lambda or multiple expression in the lambda body. So, now what we can do is let us prepare a integer variable output then output equal to now we can call the uh, this lambda expression method. So let, let us call the functional interface method ic is the uh, variable of type i calculator. Now, ic holds the object instance of the functional interface. Okay. So, ic dot calculate method. Let us call the calculate method here and it returns the result that is the multiplication of i and k. So, we have to pass some value here. So, I pass 3 comma 5. Okay. So, let us pass this and use here system dot out dot println to display the value system dot out dot println and we can we can display the value output. Okay. So, now let us run this code and see the output. Okay. So, save this and run this code and return uh, run this code and see the output now. So, so run as Java application. 